Me gusta. Hello and welcome to episode one of the new season of Minecraft Bleed Money Guide. With the arrival of Minecraft one point six, a lot of things have changed in Minecraft, such as new launcher, how the files are arranged in dot Minecraft, but Thanks to new Forge scripting, setting up MCP with Forge hasn't changed a bit. So that includes from setting up JDK, Java JDK that is, setting up MCP with Forge, and then finally setting that up with Eclipse IDE. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So first we need to download everything we need to complete this tutorial, and the first thing you need is Java JDK. And this allows us to basically code in Java, and you can get it from here, this uh, web page here, and I'll put the link to this in the description. When you get to this page, you just want to scroll down to it says Java Platform Standard Edition. It will have here the latest edition, so for me it's 7 Update 25. Then scroll down a little bit and it should say JDK, JRE, or Server JRE, and then JRE. You want JDK and you want to click Download. And then you want to accept the license agreement of the top one, and then find the appropriate download here. So for me it would be Windows X64. And you just click that and it will download it for you. The second thing you'll need is MCP, and this basically allows us to decom or MCP with Forge. It's pre-set up. And you I'll show you a little later. And basically, it allows you to code in um, Minecraft, allows us to decompile Minecraft code in it, and allows us to recompile and turn our code into files you can install into Minecraft. And what you do is you come to this uh, web page here, and I'll put the link to this in the description. And at the top, select Minecraft version. You set the version you want to code in. So for me, it'll be the latest, 1.6.2. And it'll be at the top in promotions, four downloads possibly or two. But basically, when to look for recommended here, and then you just go go across, and it should say source. And you want to click source or the star next to source, and that'll download this sort of setup, which allows us to easily download MCP, download Minecraft, install Forge, and then decompile it all in one go. And then the third thing you need is Eclipse. Now you come to this link, Eclipse.org/downloads, and then here there'll be package solutions at the bottom you don't care about that you want this one at the top called Eclipse Standard under the uh, header Eclipse Kepler and you just want to select Windows 32 bit or Windows 64 bit or if you're on Mac or Linux you just change it here so you click the appropriate one I'll be Windows 64 bit and then you just click the uh, download link at the top so if you've got that uh, successfully done you should have Eclipse uh, Eclipse Standard Kepler blah -de -blah -de -blah dot zip, and then you should have a Forge the uh, forge source as a zip as well and then you should have JDK install as an exe so for JDK which is the first one you should install you just double click the uh, setup you downloaded and that will just install the files onto your computer but although it's installed the files on your computer it hasn't properly installed JDK and we need to do something called setting a path which will set a path for the computer to find JDK to allow us to use the magical java coding features of it so first we need to find where JDK is installed to and you want to go to today you want to go to start computer local disk and either program files if you've got a 64-bit version or program files 86 if you've got a 32-bit version if you're on a 32-bit system however there will only be one program files folder so you just open the one you need find a folder called Java there will be might be JRE but you want to find a folder called JDK and you have numbers after it double click that then you want to find a folder called bin and then once you've got this open you don't want to touch any of the files instead you want to go to the the bar at the top and you want to click anywhere in the space to allow us to get the address and you want to copy this so the copy you're copying the directory to the bin folder within JDK with that copy now we can set the variable and today you got to start find computer and right click and click properties it will come to our system blah 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 uh, anyway on the left you want to find where it says advanced system settings click that and open a th small box you want to find a tab called advanced and click the, bo uh, the button at the bottom sorry called environment variables then where it says system variables are the second section of this you want to find path which you can do by pressing P and it will get take to path and you click edit and then you can see I've already got here let me just take it out for you what you'll see is loads of paths and stuff do not delete any of these that will be very bad instead go to the very last path and you want to add a semicolon or semicolon whatever you want to call it and then you want to right click and paste so we've just pasted the directory link the address even to where we have the bin folder within JDK so you want to paste that click OK and OK multiple times and that's all JDK properly installed to check it you go to start and type CMD and then in CMD you type Java C and if loads of things appear that basically means JDK is properly installed 
next thing we need to do now is set up MCP with Forge and this is really simple you just find that Minecraft Forge source you downloaded and it's zip you want to extract the files from it and that will create a folder you open that open a file called fo folder called Forge even and there'll be a few folders a few like kind of files and there'll be one main file called install which is a Windows command script you just want to double click that and basically what that will do is that will download MCP download Minecraft install Forge into Minecraft and then decompile it all for you and that will take around 10 to 30 minutes depending on your computer specs. Now we're going to get to the bit where we set up our fully decompiled Minecraft Forge source MTP blah blah, blah uh, with our Eclipse IDE and to do that you first find where you download the Eclipse. You want to extract the files so you've got a folder called Eclipse. You want to find Eclipse.exe with like a purple circle as a logo. Double click that and that will just open Eclipse Kepler um, basically once that's open it will load this workspace launcher and say here workspace and uh, uh, tell us to put in a web address or well, not web address just a address and what we need to put in is the Eclipse folder within MCP to get to that you find where your Minecraft Forge was uh, extracted to find the folder called Forge, find the folder called MCP and open that and we'll have everything decompiled in the source folder here but that doesn't matter what we need to do is find a folder called Eclipse and then in the address bar at the top you want to click some space and copy this directory and then paste that into the workspace bit here and that's basically Eclipse set up with MCP it'll take a little time to build the workspace but once it's done that that's you set up ready for Minecraft coding so thanks for watching my first episode of Minecraft Loop Money Guide this is kind of like a messy tutorial but I just want to get this out of the way and then we can get into some fun coding if you can call it fun but it's thrilling yeah and yeah, future tutorials, the first few actually will be about how Eclipse is set up, so looking at Eclipse, looking at packages, then I'll be showing about basic mod files, and then eventually getting onto coding, such as making items, blocks, mobs, biomes, tools, and much, much more. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you guys next video. Bye!